Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you an easy and simple way to get more performance out of your AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT graphics card and you could can also apply it to the XTX but you might tweak the parameters a bit more because obviously they're not gonna be the same as the XT variant. So all you need to do is uh, use the adrenaline software from your AMD driver. You can use uh, Tech Power Up uh, GPU Z if you want to see more stats, although they're not really relevant for uh, what we're gonna do today. You, you just monitor some stats. And I'm using uh, Farmark for the stress test that is gonna give me an actual benchmark score. Now, I'm not gonna run the benchmark score because it looks pretty awful on camera, you know, there's a lot of stress when you're recording what you're doing on the PC and also stressing the, the GPU and CPU. Probably more the GPU, but it's beyond the point. It looks, the, the, actually, the actual stress test looks, or benchmark test, looks pretty bad on camera. But I'm going to show you what you have to do. So first of all, you need to run on default. Now this is by default selected in your adrenaline software and this is my default score this is my benchmark score with using firmark now you you have to install the latest version of firmark and for benchmark you go to gpu benchmarks and hit uh, one of the presets i'm using a 1440p monitor so i'm using the 1440p presets you you hit this and it's gonna last for one minute if you want a shorter or a longer benchmark duration you just come here and you you modify this number now 60,000 milliseconds is 60 seconds so if you want 120 seconds you replace the 6 with the 12 but that's beyond the point. I used the one minute benchmark. This is my score, 12,777 points with the default settings. And I got an average of 213 FPS. Remember, this is a synthetic benchmark. It's not going to translate exactly in the real gaming performance. But you will have better gaming performance. To get that performance, all you have to do is go to manual tuning, hit custom. And you have to activate some sliders for GPU tuning. You enable this advanced control to change from uh, percentages to actual uh, megahertz and uh, millivolts. You don't need to enable the VRAM tuning. You just leave it as is. I did not see any improvements modifying the, the frequencies here. Fan tuning, I slide it all the way up to 100% because I, I wanted junction temperature to be as low as possible and also the power tuning to 15 percent so max i already know that my card it's stable at 15 percent power limit and every card should be if you have uh, adequate uh, airflow in your case it should be fine for voltages you should be testing with 25 millivolt steps now I know that my card is stable at uh, 1025 millivolts, so a 75 millivolt underclock. I didn't try lower, I will try, but for now I'm happy with what I got. And I also increased this to 2955, although it doesn't really, this is, the, this is a target that the card might reach, but I see it running at close to 2000 megahertz. So, a real OC would be to, to modify the minimum frequency, but then the card has this uh, stability balancing process that it has to do, and it's lowering the VRAM clock speed, and you actually get uh, poorer results. The easiest and most simple way to get some more performance is increase the power limit and try some under voltage. Then you hit, hit apply changes, and then you go again to Firmark or if you use another benchmarking program, use that. What's important is, do you have a significant improvement? And I did. As you can see, the same card, right, from let's call it 12.8K, I got up to 15.7K. So about a 3000 points increase just by doing this, just by increasing the power limit to 100%. Now, obviously the board is gonna consume like 50 watts more. So 
be mindful of your power supply. Max fan speed, because I want the, the lowest temperatures possible on my graphics card. And I did increase that max frequency target here. But I, I'm not sure it actually makes a difference because the GPU never reaches this because of stability issues and under volt with 75 millivolts. And I got a really, really good uh, increase. Now this is a synthetic bench, like if we try to see the, the performance increase from 15694 divided by 12777. This was a 22.8% performance increase. Now, you're probably not gonna get 22%, let's call it 23% more performance in gaming, but you are gonna get some actual free performance. So that was the way to get more free performance from your graphics card. If you find the, the video useful, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope your uh, overclock, under voltage and uh, maximum power limit is gonna give you some more free performance.